Over the past two years, since Fortnite Battle Royale was released, people have gotten a whole lot better. Like, for real, the difference is like night and day. To think that just a year ago, nobody even built in your average pub game, while today you can go against at least three faceways in every single game. And not surprising though, new game with new mechanics takes time to learn. But once you've gotten the basics down, you'll quickly find out that practicing will have marginal returns. Every additional hour of practice that you put in, I'm telling you, it's all worth it. That's why it's very important that we talk about how to maximize your practice. What's going on, guys? It's the motivation guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. What's going on? Hope your spirits are up, my friends. I don't know what you're going through. If anything has gotten you down in any area of your life, just know do not allow your circumstances to affect your peace. Meaning, if anything is going wrong, still walk with a smile on your face. Know that you're going to get through this. Know that this time is going to pass. I've been through some challenges lately, man, and I could be down. I could be depressed, but you know what? I'm still going to smile. I'm still going to motivate you. I'm still going to inspire people to be great. You know why? Because nothing is going to stop that. And you have to have that attitude that nothing is going to stop you. Don't surrender. Connect with me on my Instagram. We're inspiring you to be great in this game and also in life. So today, we're going to be going over the only improvement guide that you're ever going to need. Now, this video is meant to nudge you in the right direction, okay? So today, I'm going to show you guys what you need to be actively practicing in to get the maximum results in the least amount of time. But before we get into that, if you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, which should be everybody, click the link below to go to ProGuys.com, where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys, and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players out there like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you got to check out ProGuys.com, and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support and love. We really appreciate it. All right, now it's time to sit back, relax, and you better get my favorite candy right now. Come on now. It's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. All right, so for this video, we're gonna be breaking down two different ways to improve. The first is going to be in game. Come on now. This is you getting down and dirty with your creative, with your arena, you know, whatever the case may be, right? All that matters is that you're in game doing these things. The second is out of game, meaning everything you can do without actually playing the game to get better. But we're gonna get into that later, okay? Now, in-game practice can be very helpful. I put a strong emphasis on can, because if you're not focusing on what you need to work on to excel, a whole day's worth of grinding might be like entirely worthless, which is a really horrible feeling. Luckily, they pay me the big bucks here to make sure that you guys are optimizing and making the most out of your time. So with that said, the first in-game simulation that I want you guys to absolutely nail down is box fighting. Everybody say box fighting. Box fighting is arguably the most important strategy to master in Fortnite. I cannot say this enough. I am not exaggerating when I say this, okay? You can literally turn every single fight in Fortnite into a box fight. I mean, if you watch the pros a lot, then you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Box fighting allows you to be in a more controlled environment, which in turn gives you more control of the fight. Why would you be consistently taking AR 50-50s when that means you're gonna die half the time? No, <laughs> if that's you, then it's time to make the change. And remember what I said earlier, Fortnite is a really new game still compared to like most other competitive shooter games. Box fighting is a completely new concept. This was invented unintentionally. I don't even know if you know that. This was not done on purpose by the Fortnite developers, which means that there's always going to be new things to learn when it comes to box fighting. Like for real, man, it feels like there's a new tip or something coming out every single week. You don't get that when it comes to games like League of Legends, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, or literally really anything else to be real. These games have been out for a very long time and most competitive edges are already intertwined with the meta. Not Fortnite though, no, no, no. The next mechanic that you need to have mastered is tunneling. Sure, you know, you might have had box fighting down before watching this video, and that's great. But I know there's still a lot of you guys out there that need to hear this one. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like I said, you know, we're talking about how to maximize your practice, and that is just how to do it. And I don't know about you, but no one's perfect. I know I'm not perfect, so that means we can always improve, and we can always get better at something. So we gotta stay humble and stay hungry, okay, to grind and get better. Now, 
tunneling comes in all shapes and all sizes. You got the regular tunnel, you got Bizzle's diagonal tunnel, you got triangular tunnel, and you got many more, okay? Now, if you want to take a look at specific tunneling strategies, then I highly advise you to take a look at some of our previous videos. Really good. There's some really good content, and we do post daily, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, like, right now. All right, so now that the shameless plug is over, <laughs> you know, I gotta put that in from time to time. I really want to make sure you guys know that this one is so important if you find yourself getting to a high level in arena or you want to play in any of the competitive events. And right now, there's almost daily cash cups with the weekend squad tournaments, some of which you don't even have to be in champion division to get into. When you're playing in a competitive game mode, the only way to rotate in the later zones is by using a tunnel. If you can't tunnel flawlessly, you put yourself at grave risk. And only knowing one tunnel isn't going to be good enough. Sometimes you need to go in a diagonal direction. But if you only know how to tunnel straight forward, you're going to find yourself in a little bit of a predicament, to say the least. The final general mechanic that we, okay, that we're going to go over, <laughs> are high ground retakes and maintaining it. I have like a really sneaky suspicion right now that a lot of you creative warriors out there are going to have a problem with this one. But it's so important that I need just to air it out real quick, okay? For those that are unaware, high ground retakes means that you build in such a way that allows you to take the high ground position from your opponent that is currently on it. Before Creative Warriors start salivating here, <laughs> all right, I'm going to say that real in-game retakes aren't as fancy as you might think. All right, so when I say high ground retakes, I'm more or less talking about finding opportunities that are really easy to obtain height. Say you have a rocket launcher, okay, and your opponent is standing on a single tarp. Okay, so your practice will tell you that shooting that tarp out is gonna give you an easy high ground. All right, but you gotta work smarter and not harder. Now, when it comes to maintaining the high ground, this one is a little bit more tricky. Just like you did to someone else, other people are going to be taking any opportunity they get snatching the high ground from you. And it really makes sense too. The high ground is like the best position to be in the end game. There's no doubt about that one. But when it comes to maintaining it, you're going to want to practice adding multiple connection points to your high ground tarp. And over time, you're going to identify places that you can connect your builds that will add more structural integrity so you won't simply get chopped down or shot out. All right, so now that we've covered the most important things to practice in-game, we got to talk about the most important ways to practice outside of the game. I'd even say that once you're at a decent level, using external resources to elevate your gameplay is really what's going to push you to be a next level player. Getting your basic mechanics down is only going to get you so far, all right? We are going to talk about ways that you can learn to apply said mechanics, which is the other half of the battle. First things first, let's talk about VOD review. VOD review boils down to watching pro players specifically learn. You go into the stream or recent broadcast and pick apart everything they do. Every single micro decision, that's what you're interested in, right? Frequently pause and, you know, think of what you would do in their situation and then play the clip out to see how they differ from you. This one is more important than I can really explain in words. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, guys, all right? If you ask any pro player, I guarantee you, like I guarantee that 99% of them all VOD review multiple hours per week. If you wanna stay on top of your game, you gotta bounce between many pro players to see what they're doing to keep up with the meta. If you stay in your little bubble where it's just nice and safe and just, just, just beautiful, you're not obviously going to be able to improve the way you want to. You might get mechanically better, all right? That's one thing. But when push comes to shove, we're talking about how to get better in a short time span. And I'm telling you guys, learning directly from the pros, oh my goodness, I want to say my two words, holy moly, is going to take you there, okay? All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's shift focus a little bit and talk about communication. Obviously, this one really applies to team-based game modes and not solos. What kind of madman talks to himself in a solo game? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not me. All right, maybe sometimes I could be weird. But anyways, uh, I got some good news. You're not going to have to put a ton of time into this step, but it's worth noting anyways. You know, oftentimes only a small misunderstanding between teammates can turn fatal. If the right opponent can exploit it, man, my goal is to make sure that you guys never put yourself in an exploitable position. And if you don't know what the word exploitable is, look it up. I love you. When it comes to communication, typically it's good to assign player roles before hopping into a match. There's two types of players on a team, the in-game leader, all right, or IGL for short, and a support player. The IGL is typically the one talking the most, you know, communicating what decisions they're going to make before actually doing it. A support will, you know, they support. <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? Of course, yeah. 
So if you find yourself in the support role, you still need to communicate with your IGL, bouncing back ideas, you know, affirming to them that their decision is what you're going to follow or anything else that allows your IGL to know that you guys are on the same page. Something as simple as role assignment will have a huge impact on communication. Instead of like you guys just yelling back and forth, there's now some structure and now you have someone to rely on when you hit the battle bus with your squad. In conclusion, we need to master the basic fundamental in-game mechanics. So we talked about box fighting, we talked about tunneling and high ground retakes, right? Surely there's more to it, but these are some of the fundamentals that you could simply cannot live without. <laughs> but as you start to notice that only practicing in-game yields marginally declining returns, then you know it's time to start finding external resources, using pro players live streams to get new perspectives and building deeper communication skills with your teammates are going to give you guys an extra edge that you didn't have before. And just one more thing before we wrap things up, I just want to say that you guys need to be in the right mindset to learn. I always talk about that on my Insta. Mindset is, it's everything. It really is. You know, learning is an uphill battle and sometimes you're going to get worse before you get better. And a lot of us we quit when we get worse but you cannot quit i hate that word quit just take it out of your vocabulary take it out of your mind don't even say it don't even think it some of you just thought it right now i told you don't do that okay it's truly a two-step forward you know one step backward ordeal man it happens in life sometimes you feel like you're going forward and then all of a sudden you go back i get it it's frustrating but you gotta keep going because the winners in this world never quit so instead of getting mad that you aren't seeing the results quick enough you know you just have to have the mindset i'm doing this to get better Remember, guys, you're doing this to get better. It is a journey. You got this, man. And we believe in you. I believe in you. The motivation guy. That's right. And I'm willing. You got to be willing to take the steps to go into the right direction. If you follow these steps, I'm more than certain that you guys are going to have no issue improving quick and scale those leaderboards. All right, guys, it's the motivation guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you enjoyed this video today. Follow me on my Instagram. I'm inspiring you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Keep that attitude in check. Be positive. And you know what? I want you to be a blessing. Be, be, be inspirational to anybody you come in contact with. We got to change this world one person at a time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about this video. And what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video. Subscribe to the channel and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching.